the experts are weighing in on the tough job of protecting politicians who are in the spotlight. Nine on your side reporter Allie Kramer joins us now with their input. Allie. Well, Catherine, experts tell us that protecting these high-ranking officials, it's all about risk assessment. It's not about those big buff bodyguards showing off their martial arts skills. It's more of a mental process that has to be proactive, so they certainly don't have to be reactive. Al Boehner spoke this morning on the House floor with no mention of the recent threat. So we sat down with former UC Police Chief Gene Ferrara. He tells us that he was by no means surprised to learn a death threat had been made against the Speaker of the House, John Boehner. But he says people in high profile positions, well, they attract people who may want to do harm to them for a number of different reasons. How those include both personal agendas and those who are against that person because they took a particular position on an issue. Ferrara says the level of risk is very fluid and he weighs in on the chances that this specific threat could have actually been carried out. Anyone that had access to the food would have access to being able to put something in the food. So then the question becomes a, a, a pre-screening, if you will, of the people who are going to be in a position to be able to do harm. The threat in terms of a person is someone with the intent and the capacity to do harm. Now, Gene tells us there is, of course, no way to remove all potential risk. He also tells us that these threats do happen, and it's not likely that Boehner's security detail will be ramped up in light of these threats.